Right, so the front is our friend here in the Carolinas. We like that. And also, if you like the idea of getting back to that more refreshing and fall feeling air mass, you like that incoming cold front as well. So the fall feel is coming, but until that happens, it's still kind of hot out there today. It's kind of humid. And with that, we have a few more spotty showers, a couple of thunderstorms bubbling up. Not so much in our area here so far. We've seen a little bit of rain really kind of in the process of fizzling here as it's been pushing through the foothills, Caldwell County, up toward the higher elevations earlier. You can see those little tiny showers drifting to the southeast and out toward Hickory. Maybe a few sprinkles coming for you all, but that is about it here at this point. We have had some stronger, even severe thunderstorms over parts of the southwest mountains and heading into western sections of South Carolina. And right here along the same pesky stalled front that we were talking about from late last week and over the weekend that brought us the rounds of showers and storms just to the west of Charleston, a little more inland, some severe weather. But that front mostly out of our west Way, this is the next front that we're talking about that will kind of help steer Lee, keep it offshore and bring us. You can see some rain along with that system over sections of Missouri and down through Kansas up toward the Midwest right now. That's going to bring us some showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. And it looks like again into Wednesday as well until it clears the area. So yes, not far from 90 today for that high temperature up into the mid and upper 80s. The wind is nice and calm. Dew points are a little bit in the muggy zone when you see them. Uh, certainly in the mid 60s here. We've got low to mid 80s across the board, a little bit hotter with those high 80s to around 90 south and east and the cooler mid 70s up there in the higher elevation. So tomorrow a day to stay weather aware. We're not expecting a widespread outbreak of severe damaging thunderstorms, but certainly one or two isolated strong. Maybe severe thunderstorms can't be totally ruled out, packing some of those strong wind gusts and maybe some small hail, but scattered showers and storms will be the theme. Even perhaps for some of you in the morning, you could be waking up to some rain. High temperatures back in the mid to upper 80s before any of that cooling rain heads on in. So for the rest of this evening, again, a few spotty showers possible, especially north and west of Charlotte, but we could see more of those crossing over parts of the Charlotte Metro by late tonight and early tomorrow morning. So it could be a little bit of a wet start. Nothing too intense though here or widespread covering the area and we'll see more breaks and peaks of sunshine through the afternoon. But yes, you can see the blossoming showers, couple of scattered storms out there late afternoon and evening and more of the same after a primarily dry start to the day on Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon until the front again completely clears to the area. The shower and storm chance will continue. But then behind that front, here comes a fall feel, a cooler temperature outlook, not only here across the Carolinas, but over much of the eastern half of the country late this week and heading into the upcoming weekend. And of course, that comes with the lack of humidity too, especially starting Thursday through the weekend. It will feel downright delightful, comfortable for a lot of you, and especially up in the mountains. Look at these low temperatures for you all in the high country, mid to upper 40s starting Thursday morning. Lots of sunshine on the way, so it looks great after we get rid of, again, the scattered showers and storms coming off and on still the next couple of days. And even outside of the mountains, look at that high on Friday. It'll be a struggle to even get up close to 80. Those early morning temperatures back into the 50s starting Friday morning, guys.